Mathematics has always been at the forefront of what it means to achieve in this, imperial, in this uh, enterprise of, of great attainment in that, in that abstract space that uh, makes our lives quintessentially exactly as it, it could have gone based on all the logic playing out so properly, so, so quintessentially as it should. The perfect example of what it of what it should be based on the logic playing out. So formalisms are are rampant. You enter a new uh, domain and you you try to uh, understand the formalisms there, therein, and you you kind of get bogged down bogged down by the uh, in, in insights that these mathematicians are portraying on the page, and. Uh, it's it's their it's their idea that counts when they're expressing their personal taste, their stylistic virtue, their uh, meaning behind the madness of of extracting that information from an applied perspective on on the on terms that uh, are all acceptable to that entire community. So when it, when a regular person uh, takes into account that mathematics is is going to be uh, a part of one's life uh, they also play a similar role with their peers they need to be uh, considerate of of what it means to logically put together the the correct progression in it or is it the is it the correct uh, way of life that that is structurally sound enough mathematically so that there's nothing that can actually be extracted away and uh, sequestered in, in their um, identity, so um, the the conscientiousness of of somebody who is just a individual versus the mathematician who is uh, be, be, a, a huge believer and a player in that sport that that takes a lot of uh, cool action sequences out of the periphery and it puts them into the forefront of how to uh, make really cool uh, ideas play a role in, a, in, a, in sort of a, a reprisability of how your ideas played a role in your own understanding of these problems you've been working on. So uh, consequences for these things are natural consequences, what I mean, um, are, are the ways that nature interpreted uh, problems, uh, how you interpreted nature's problems and how she responds to your equation is, is simply put, how we got this physical uh, space, and I, I do double as some sort of a uh, mathematician philosopher, and I do I do also play role uh, my role in a in a physics experiment if I need to, and I and I I know to play the part of the guy who who moseys on in in his own dimension of the the grand adventure in in terms of STEM and humanities, and how can we forget that it's it's been such a pleasure. Uh, exfoliating that that uh, dead skin, uh, that that uh, shedding of shedding of my um, struggles, shedding of, of the problem areas that have have caused me setbacks in my life. And how do we know that the future isn't going to be? How do we or we do know the future is going to be way more exact uh, to to uh, the extent that life gets better when you put in that sort of mathematical forefront you put in you put in the mathematical um intuition or the mathematical backing there we go the facts and figures the facts and figures it's not on a whim that these things play out that way they always they always back up the argument and that's where the common the common good is a part of a mathematical um destiny to, to see how this grand scope of the meso, the mesoscopic quantum mechanics can, can maybe give us the, the perfect theory that, dare I say, people like Einstein were, were fighting against. They, they didn't quite see it working that way based on all the, all the history of, of how uh, mechanics and dynamics kinematics 
and 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 uh, all sorts of uh, waves and, and and fluids, and and you gotta you gotta think it's a pretty hefty deal to be to have that weight and that passing on the burden of proof of, of how exactly do we mathematically formulate 